you. I, I appreciate this chance to uh, to uh, testify. Uh, I'm Richard Abel. I um, the state representative uh, from Grafton uh, 13. I represent Lebanon, and I am opposed to this bill. I was opposed to it when it was when it was in the House. Um, and since I'm with the 34th person, I guess some of the things I would say you've already heard. I'll try to emphasize a few other things. But just to just to clarify in, in terms. Um, when, uh, when, when this bill passed the House, um, I started speaking with constituents, mostly, most of whom didn't, weren't really aware of, of the bill, but um, what I started hearing um, concerned me, and I, I continued to talk to more people in my, in my area. I'm on the western uh, side of the state. Um, and uh, we heard the same kinds of, I heard the same kinds of concerns about, uh, about uh, the children going, waiting for the bus earlier in the morning and being in darkness longer. Um, it becomes an important uh, problem for people in the western part of the state uh, in that we have several uh, bi-state school districts. And some of the schools are in Vermont, some of the schools are in New Hampshire. Um, it also, we have a number of towns that don't have, um, don't have uh, middle schools or high schools, and so pay tuition students to other districts. And, the, and so we have a situation where uh, people, school superintendents feel, and teachers feel, and parents feel, that it will complicate issues where student members of the same family will be going to school at different times um, and so forth. I think you have probably have a very good picture about that. Um, the other thing that no one else has mentioned that I find to be a, uh, a, a real concern is, is a, an economic one. Um, uh, for example, in my district, the city of Lebanon, uh, we form a kind of uh, magnet of commerce in that we are the one of the major, if not the major, uh, commercial center for uh, people driving uh, three quarters of an hour from Vermont and from New Hampshire. Uh, also a major employment area uh, with the largest employer in the state, Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. Uh, having, again, lots of people coming to work from Vermont. Um, uh, so among, among uh, retailers, there's a concern um, that any time you have a commercial district where almost half your customers are coming from another time zone, it tends to depress uh, commerce. I think that's a real concern we would, we, we would have. Um, also, the problem with major employers who have to have people coming from um, from another time time zone. Um, so, I don't see in my part of the state, the western part of the state, where we're very dependent upon what Vermont is doing, that we would want to go forward with something like this without without having Vermont's buy-in. Um, I also think. I, I see this as a as a bill that is trying to fix a problem that, that doesn't exist. I don't know what the problem is now, um, so I don't know why we why why we want to go forward with this. And the third thing is, um, thank you for the time. Um, I don't see how a, a, the legislature of, of 2019 can obligate future legislatures about something, in other words, pass a bill that would require something to happen in, in, in a different, uh, different session. Uh, I don't think that's a wise way to, to legislate. So I hope you'll consider these concerns as you, as you think about this bill. What's the reason for doing it? I'm not sure. And do we really want to obligate the future? In, in, during this session. So thank, thank you very much. Any questions? questions? None, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bill Allman, support not speaking.